since Ike met Tina and she flipped that wig around. Hey Jim, so today's hair video is gonna be a little bit different. I mean, I have always brought y'all the hair education. So today I wanted to give y'all hair education about hairstylists. A lot of people are, for whatever reason, saying that hairstylists are out of style. Some people are up here and they're saying that wigs are out of style, right? So I wanted to address these two topics. Are hairstylists going out of style? Absolutely not. The thing I think a lot of people have to understand is that just like hairstyles go and come, the jerry curl is back. Trends go and come. A hairstylist never goes out of style. You're gonna always need your beautician, your cosmetologist, your hairstylist for something. And it's all the, it's just different names with the same title. We could get into the nit, nit bit and gritty, but I'm, I'm not even about to go there because I don't even think y'all ready for that conversation. But if you think you're ready for that conversation, let me know and I'll do it in another video. Comment down below. So let me, let me break this down to y'all. A lot of people are saying that we're going out of style because nobody wants to pay those high ass prices. And I quote, end quote. So untrue. I think that for every cosmetologist or licensed hairstylist that you think is overpriced, there's somebody that fits your um, price bracket, okay? The thing is that a lot of people desire to go to stylists that charge a bit more because we have the expertise and we've educated ourselves and we've done all these different things to get it and you see our work and you desire that, but you don't wanna pay that price. You cannot go buy a gallon of milk and say, I'm buying this milk because it tastes so good with my favorite cereal, but I'm not paying this price. You cannot go and buy your favorite shoe or your favorite outfit and say, I love this, but I'm not paying this price. You can catch it on a sale. And if you if you have a good cosmetologist, then they do offer discounts. They do offer coupons and things like that because I know that I do, okay? A lot of the stylists that charge lower don't charge lower because they want to um they charge lower typically because they're just starting out or because they don't have the clientele or because they're nervous to bump their prices and then once they start to bump their prices they lose clients and the reason they lose clients is because now their clients feel like oh she trying to do the most she trying to go up she trying to charge this she trying to charge that and that's not the case they always felt that that was their worth but for whatever reason they just priced themselves underneath that to get you in and i always tell new stylists like that's the worst thing to do price yourself at what you're worth don't worry about other people's comparisons don't worry about what the next person is charging because that next person may not have the expertise that you have especially like myself i always go to workshops i always go to seminars i always go to training i'm always looking and i'm always perfecting the things that i learn so there are a lot of things that i, I know how to do there are a lot of things that I like to do and there are things that I feel like I'm the strongest at. And then there are things like, for me, when I say the weakest, I would probably say braids. And it's not because I don't know how to braid because I can braid my ass off. It's just that I don't like standing eight hours and all these hours to do braids. So I, I start out moving fast and then I kind of just get into my rhythm. And then after that rhythm and I'm over it, I get to moving under rhythm slow. I think even with that being said, a lot of people go and sit down and let two people braid their hair. Now you have a bunch of uneven textured, uneven sizes, uneven in the tension, uneven in the braiding style. You know, so you have to really be careful y'all when y'all are talking about stylists are out of style, stylists are out of style, I can do this at home. See, this is what I always notice about a lot of people. They want to say, oh, I can do that myself and I can do that at home. And some of you can. Some of you are really talented and can do it yourself. But what does the un what does the underlying hair look like? Are you taking care of your hair properly? Because to me, I feel like the only reason wigs are going out of style, which I feel they're not, a wig will never go out of style. Lace wigs will never go out of style. Wigs will never go out of style. Wigs been in style since I was a little kid and your, gra and your grandmama was wearing them backwards, okay? Since Ike met Tina and she flipped that wig around. That's how long wigs have been in style. So lace wigs have been here when people get on, on big screens and movie screens and it's just convenient for them to do. They are not meant to sleep in like that. They're not meant to wear on your head all this time. And I don't know how many times I can stress this and tell y'all about this, but this I'm trying to give y'all the truth. All that, that glue, it's meant to be a very temporary thing. 
These celebrities are not walking around with their wigs glued on for the whole week. Unless they are doing like back-to-back -back sets and stuff like that. And please believe they got somebody that's reapplying and taking it off and everything like that. I think in the comfort of our own homes, we're feeling, oh, I can lay my wig. I can this, I can that. Me personally, I don't like my wigs real flat. It don't look realistic to me. I like my wig to have a little, little volume because my hair, think about it. When do you ever wear your hair flat? Even with a bone straight uh, press out or, or blow out. Your hair still has volume to it. So I'm not looking for my wig to be like this. I'm not. I think that they, people are saying that wigs are going out of style because everybody's tired of seeing the same thing. Everybody has the same look and I've been saying this for over a year. Everybody got the baby hairs. Everybody styling their wigs the same. It went from used to having like a, a wider part to now you really don't have a part to now they sticking stuff underneath the thing to give you a, a skin like part. It's just, it's so much. People don't want to pay the prices because as with anything, as the popularity comes, the coins go up, okay? When I first started selling Remy hair and all that, people were, oh, that's high, that's high, that's high. You got, now you got people out here paying four, five hundred dollars for a bundle of hair. Thousand dollars for a wig. I'm just telling y'all the truth. And then they don't want to pay the beautician for the service. That's why they want to talk about beauticians out of style because you want to go pay all the money for the wig and the hair and then you feel you should get a discount on the service. Well, she tried to charge me for this. She tried to charge me for that. Well, if you come and you sit in and you want me to pluck, you want me to do this, you want me to customize, you want me to bleach the knots, you then turn around, you want me to color the hair, you want a designer cut, then you want me to do the application. You're right. I'm about to make my money because you have now taken up my time and for each hour, I'm going to get it. It's not about the money, but at the same time, when you go to work, you want to be paid for overtime. Why should not? Same thing. I just want to come on record to say, I don't think either is going out of style, but I do see more women going back to relaxers. I do see more women going to Jerry Girls. I do see more women now being open to wear tape ins clip ends so ends and why because these things just keep evolving they never go out of style i think so ends started kind of losing popularity when everybody was doing deep side part with the swoop and like the the feather thing i think it also kind of went out of style when everybody started doing the fair faucet haircut y'all remember that with the curtain bangs and they was flipping their heads upside down and all that I think anytime anything becomes accessible to everybody, people start looking for something new or go back to what worked for them or um, for something different. And that's really all it is because the reason y'all feel that way is because you see influencers um, like myself or other people or you see people uh, on television, celebrities who are rocking more natural looking styles they're they're back to you part wigs they're back to sew ins they're back to uh, fusion hairstyles or tape ins or eye tips and things like this so you're starting to see hair because why everybody tired of that wig sweating on them me personally i never glue my wigs down i never glue my wigs down um if i do it's just out of a rare rare occasion i bobby pin tuck them in bobby pin and that's how i roll because my wig is coming off at the end of the day i'm not i'm not about to play with y'all i'm not going I, I exercise every day i'm not going to sit in no sauna in no wig i'm not i'm not going to sleep in no wig i'm not doing all that i'm letting my hair breathe and yes they can breathe through lace fronts and full laces and everything but i'm letting my scalp breathe so i'm interested to hear y'all's comments down below y'all let me know because like i said I, I mean i'm just a i'm just a licensed cosmetologist i i only been doing hair since like i was what 13 14 years old actually sixth grade sixth grade i started doing classmates hair french braids um twist things like that i started so that's way earlier than, than 16, because in ninth grade, I was 13. Yeah, so, I mean, I might I might just know what I'm talking about here. Anyways, thank y'all for watching till the end. Go ahead, hit the like, 
share and subscribe don't forget to comment and let's get into these discussions in the comments down below bye hey Jim thanks for watching my video today make sure you check out my previous video and most importantly do not forget to subscribe okay if you're new to my channel become fam click subscribe and follow me on my social networks bye